Hello everyone. Welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to discuss a very important topic from Unit 5 of Social and Preventive Pharmacy which speaks about National Urban Health Mission. Yes, my dear student, this is one of the most important area from the health mission which is in the form of National Urban Health Mission which looks out for the urban health issues, which looks out for the several schemes being launched from Government of India time to time to improve the life of the people living in the urban areas. This is the scheme which looks after the below poverty line people and this is the scheme which actually plays a very important role in urban development. So if you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates and important information con contents related to pharmacy. I welcome you all again. So let us begin this session. So when we talk about National Urban Health Mission, first let us try to understand why this health mission is being required. Due to the increased urbanization, migration of the people from the rural to the urban areas, it has led to a lot of stress on the urban life. In a way that people are population density has grown to a large extent. Due to the increased migration and due to the increased pressure on the existing infrastructural development in the urban areas, it had led to the development of several clusters and slums. So the goal of this urban health mission is to look after the people living in the living below the poverty lines and underprivileged people for the for their health issues because what happens is that there are several communicable disease and if they are not being contained they are not being controlled then they transfer from one location to another so the government of india has launched the urban health mission targeted specifically for the poor people disadvantaged sections underprivileged people people below the poverty line so that they can equally have the access to the healthcare system by a improved health system and also cap building the capacity buildings of the health system. India being a highly populated container, again this is very important to look after the health of the people living in the slum areas under privileged section. So my dear students, National Health Mission has both the missions in the rural area as well as the urban area. The rural health mission started way back in April 2005 and urban health mission came recently in the June 2013. So talking about the mission, they look after all the cost, all the recurrent cost by the development of the district health fund and also they talk about the maintaining good health in all the areas of the people living in the urban areas. So the mission is adequately technically managed and accounted by the district health management and the central government plays pro and as well as provides subsidies in several forms to the poor people. So the programs are being launched to promote the various type of the health services which will periodically be evaluated for effective delivery. My dear students, you can go through and see the urbanization in India from 1951 and the forecasted till 19, 2026. So you can see that India is urbanizing rapidly in recent decades. So the core strategy is to improve and build up the primary healthcare systems. Now how this can be improved? By strengthening, revising, revamping and rationalizing government policies. And they are being worked in several forms in the urban areas like Mahila Arogya Samitis, and which uh, Mahila Arugya Samitis looks after the health of the women and they provide adequate guidance and awareness to the pregnant women and innovative preventive and promotive actions. Apart from that, nowadays with the help of the technology building, the healthcare system is being looked after very well. Talking about the outcomes and the impact level, these urban health missions, rural health mission was a great success. So after the success of the rural health missions came the urban health mission. So by this health mission, the government is basically targeting to reduce the mortality in first several diseases. For example, malaria, kala azar, Japanese encephalitis, tuberculosis. So it has been found that the mission is highly successful and they have reduced and eradicated disease. For example, it is highly successful in the eradication of the leprosy, tuberculosis, chikungunya, malaria, etc. 
so they, the leprosy prevalence has been reduced to great extent with the development of the dot centers in each and every areas in the urban population tuberculosis has been reduced and is highly controlled also the prevalence of the deafness is also being controlled so how do we measure the success of the program for that we need to understand about the below poverty line people their way of life and we need to understand that the uh, it the program any program with when has to be successful has to be accounted so we have to look after the increase in the population we have to look after the number of the clusters number of the people working healthcare workers working for the development of these health mission so there are several in indicators like the increased tetanus toxicides which were being provided to the pregnant women and institutional deliveries increase in the immunizations being done to the children then screening for the diabetes and other diseases like hypertension and creating more awareness into the society for the controlled use of tobacco we have to prevent the alcohol overuse and substance abuse so that the healthcare can be improved upon talking about the urban healthcare delivery model so how does it basically work this is the official website for the national urban health mission all of you can have access to it they basically the delivery model is basically comprising of an urban primary health centers so what with this mission urban primary health centers like in the rural health centers urban primary health centers are being created in several parts of the state so they have number of provisions for dealing with the several health issues so people can go to the pub primary health centers get them screened get them checked get them diagnosed they even have the bed facilities to look after certain cases talking about the urban community health centers so that when the disease is not being able to be treated at the primary health centers it is being referred to at the community health centers so similar sort of arrangements were there in the rural health centers also so they provide in patient services they have more beds 30 to 50 bedded facilities and it provided better care minor surgery facilities are also there and facilities for the institutional deliveries so these urban community health centers are very well equipped they have supportive staff doctors skilled paramedical staff talking about further about the urban primary health centers they look after the population of around 50 to 60000 people and they are located preferably near a slum areas they are ideally located and established a urban public health centers for 75000 people with very high densities so they have the facilities for the opd consultations like basic lab diagnostics contraception dispensing free of cost health education and the medications are being provided for several diseases for all communicable non communicable diseases free of cost but they don't have that much in patient care for that they are they are being referred to the community health centers talking about the community level various health volunteers work towards the achievement and improvement of the health services in the rural areas like in the form of the usha workers so they usha u stands for the urban here in rural areas we have the asha workers so usha would be a women resident of the slum so uh, usha workers are selected from the slum area only and they are preferably in the age group of 25 to 45 years so they cover about 1000 to 2500 community level beneficiaries so they actually acts as a link and they bring the people from the slum area guide them to reach to the public health centers for the eradication of the disease so they are actually a link between the urban primary health centers and the urban slums so they maintain interpersonal communications so they have better communication so they can promote the desired health seeking behavior they also help in the antenatal care maternal to deliveries and all so they are responsible for the mahila arogya samitis now the select they are being selected through urban local bodies like municipal corporations and they are also decided they can have more members so like depending on the requirement depending on the area depending on the density usha workers asha workers are being supported out now they look after several uh, women care policies like pregnancies pregnancy care clean and safe deliveries nutritional cares during pregnancy identification of dangers antenatal postnatal cares 
now these usha workers also facilitate the health related services which are being available at the anganwadi primary urban health centers and they form and promotion of the mahila arogya samitis they look after the child care also now coming to the mahila arogya samitis they again along with the with these usha workers help in the necessary information the uh, campaigns are being organized records are being maintained various services like birth and death immunizations antenatal services to the local areas are being provided by these mahila samitis they also organize time to time community programs community awareness campaigns monitoring and linkages with the several services so mahila arogya samitis may cover around 50 to 100 households with an elected chairperson and a treasurer supported by the usha link workers so they work in coordination with each other they have several preventive and promotive healthcare policies they identify access to the identified facilities and group of socially committed females from the community itself they carry out the uh, like auxiliary nurse midwife outreach sessions so these sessions are being carried out weekly and they uh, are being planned to focus special attention for reaching out to the vulnerable sections like the slum populations rag pickers sex workers and street children and rickshaw pullers so with the coordination and convergence government of india has launched several schemes time to time to have improve the national urban health mission so one of i am going to share few of the schemes over here like jawaharlal nehru urban renewal mission so this was being targeted to transfer the people living in the slum areas to the uh, developed houses so that they can live a good quality of the life then second scheme is about the rajiv awas yojana now this again was being launched by the government of india to provide the good quality of living and providing the housing facilities for the people living in the slum areas the next talking about the swan jayanti shahri rozgar yojana this was about the employment employment for the people living the below poverty line to the children to the women and so that they can lead a good quality of the life then talking about the ministry of women and child development now this ministry was being created with the uh, to organize the community health and nutritional requirements in coordination with the anganwadi workers and uh, asha workers usha workers and so that the adequate health care planning can be done other schemes at the school levels will be being promoted like the school, introduction of the health education in the school health programs by the ministry of human resource development so the government or the private sector schools which were located in the slum areas or the government schools near the slums where slum children go and attend the school they were given enough knowledge and school health education program was being introduced apart from that the adolescent reproductive and sexual health was also being taken care by the teen clinic health and they looked after the education and counseling to the adolescent girls for promoting menstrual hygiene and prevention of anemia prevention of sexually transmitted disease so they provided all sorts of the education and guidance to the teenagers other schemes which were also equally important in the development of the national urban health mission were like corporate social responsibilities by the various companies the northeastern region urban development programs multi sectoral development programs so these schemes have worked a long way in the development of the national urban health mission thank you so much for watching the video Please do like share and subscribe to Pharmacypedia for getting all the important contents related to pharmacy